Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Project Lemons to Lemonade. Our next guest has over 20 years experience in the restaurant business. He manages eight Montana restaurants all across Alberta and used to manage 400 employees. That's gonna go back up, don't worry everybody. And he loves to play squash and tennis. Please welcome Mo Aladdin from Montana's Restaurants. Hi Daphne, why are you bothering me? Why are you bothering me today? <laughs> You're a people hey. expert. <laughs> Because I know your profile, I know you take it sensitively why you're, why you're bothering me today. So that's what my angle was to talk to you about today. So. That's exactly what we're talking about. You're an expert. You, you use personality profiles. to, uh, to You've trained thousands of people over the years. And, uh, yeah. and you use those profiles to, to do what? <laughs> so yeah that, that's a you know so a lot of folks don't use personality profiles whether it's for self-development for self-improvement or managing people and i really believe in this technology that that has gotten better and better and actually started way back in the greek times when people really started picking up who you are in, during the greek times and and everybody literally that you ever talked to remembers being typecast into a personality that says, oh, you are a type A personality, you're a type B personality, without well, having no popular, knowledge. Yeah. Uh, because that was like, you know, oh, you are that obnoxious type A personality, hard driven, mm -hmm. hard drinking, hard. But those days are long gone, right? And, and, and uh, as with everything in life, uh, we, we've evolved a lot more into what we're doing. And those days were type based, now we're much more of a, a trait based. So I've been mm -hmm. kind of walking through what that is, looks like. Is that all right if I can do that for Yeah, you? totally. Hopefully it's not too much information to, to do that. So like I said, it's, it's about personal development. If you think about the most important thing is about personal development and self-improvement. You know, how they're different is personal development is, you know, whether I'm going for a new job, whether I need a new skill, what, how does that help me? And, and self-development is what are my challenges that I have? Right? And, and these profiles kind of help you with that and uncover, unlock some of those key mysteries. So, um, so that's the key things. And what, what this, uh, and I use what's called 16 personalities, and it's actually built on Myers-Briggs that everybody knows about it. it. It characterizes four sets of traits, four sets of two traits. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, so, so first one everybody really understands is an extroverted person or an introverted person. So that's a, a set of traits that people go, okay, that's, uh, binary that can figure out you are either extrovert or introvert but nowadays we have an ambivert person and who's just kind of in the middle and all that but i'll get to that in a bit second one is a person who's very much intuition right is understands or is sensing so either does it by intuitions or sensing the feeling right um the, other, the third set of traits is thinking versus feeling and then the other one is judging versus perceiving right so if you set, take a set of these eight things and they're binary, mm -hmm. and you start plotting people into these, these categories. And what that ends up doing is that it gets you a set, set of behaviors that you're looking for, right? And, and how, how this profile kind of works that is that it, it turks out into five different personalities, okay? And, and it's mind, right? Which is uh, taking in the introverted and extroverted individual. Mm -hmm. It is how you see the world. So literally an introverted person, right? You and I are both extroverted individuals. Um, an introverted sees it differently, right? And that's the, the things. The second aspect, aspect of it is, is the energy, which, which takes the, the, these two aspects of uh, intuition of, and observance. So sometimes you, they do it by intuition and sometimes we do it by observing. So it takes those two characters. Then it's nature, which is what, what is what we talk about is thinking and feeling, right? So I think about it or you feel it, right? And, and then you take tactics, which is about judging and per prospecting. And the last one, which is really interesting one is identity, is how you are going to have the confidence to do it, which is really about assertiveness or, or, or turbulent person. And I kinda wanna go into a little bit about an assertive versus a turbulent person. An assertive person, is a person who, who pretty well knows what they're going to do. They go into a room, they understand what that field looks like. A turbulent person is always uh, a person who's, it, it's just too many things happening in their life. It's just, it's, it's just a bit, we, we, we 
certainly don't use the word drama, but they have this internal drama against themselves. Right? Yeah. It's like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do that? When, when so, I saw that on the personality profile, Mo, yeah. I, was, I, was like, um, I was like, how can you say that this is a, how, you know, how can a, an exam or whatever, a, a profile say that this is who you are? Because isn't that confidence versus turbulence part of like, uh, is, isn't that going to change? as you grow older or when you're younger, you might be more confident. So how does that work? I know, I'm super intrigued about that part. That's a great question. And, and it actually, so uh, uh, there's a few factors that, that does make a difference. Environment, right? Uh, that is your, your country of origin, country, you know, how, how you're raised, um, ethnicity. Uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of factors that go into this, the, 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 these things. But your question about, as your confidence grows over time, it actually doesn't. It's, it's compared to your peer of that time. So as a child, you, you certainly have uh, the same set of w within your bunch of kids. You may show up as the most confident kid. It may be that you really lack confidence against an adult, but within your set of group, you're the one first one putting your hands up and all that stuff. And that really, uh, over time, is, is, is what grows that confidence. Mm -hmm. And that part of that whole behavior is that the, the change over time is what you're talking about. So you take a really confident kid and, and or, or, or very introverted kid. Let's not think about a confident one, an introverted kid. And then over time, they, they, their environment changes, right? And how that's nurtured, it also uh, shows a reflection as an adult. So there is certainly amount of seeding to be done and watering of that individual that does change it. So when you become... Um, uh, a doctor, or there's a certain level of confidence that you show, but that's not an extrovert and introverted. So a doctor can still be an extrovert or an introvert. It doesn't mm -hmm. really make a difference. It's, it's, right. it's, a, it's a set of seating. And then as, as psychologists, and I know you work with a bunch of psychologists uh, in, your, in your practice. Your family. They, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, um, and, and, uh, and, and, and they will tell you that there, there could be some very horrific events that happen that it does change your, your, your perspective. So you, you, you certainly don't discount that, but you count that in, in, into that. Uh, okay. Thing. So, so, yeah. So is what I'm hearing is it's, it's more like you can take an online test, but it is more complicated as we know humans are complicated. So sometimes uh, you need a, an expert in there to. <laughs> Correct. So, so how this, these tests work is really they ask you a set of questions and they're pulling out of all those factors. So as an example, a question would be, you know, walking into a room that you don't know anything about, what do you see yourself doing? Going to the back of the room, um, uh, waiting for everybody to, to see what the lay of the land is, or are you walking in and start introducing yourself, right? That kind of get, and they ask a set of questions to, to really point you towards is, is this an extroverted individual or an introverted? So now you, they set a, set a question and they tweak it the other way also and, and to kind of get the second. Then thinking about it. So if you ask a person about thinking something, you know what, here's you given a, a problem is one of the questions and, and how would you go about doing it? Uh, and, and if you, you know, either you're going to say, hey, yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty confident I, I, I'd be able to, yeah, or just say, let me think about it. Let me, let me see how that. So how you answer those questions will pile you into a bunch of different uh, variations of, of people. And, 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 and uh, so, I, so that that's, gives you that, that set of behavior, right? Mm -hmm. So you get a bunch of questions. And what it does, it piles you into four different types of, again, we go, go back to uh, four different uh, groups of people. And, and they're really a confident individualism. So a person who is confident, but they're much more introverted. They, 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 it's confident, but they're individual. So they, they, when you give them a problem, they, 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 they do it themselves. They don't need any, uh, they're, not a, they're an introvert, but they, they do it by themselves. The second set of group of people is what are uh, people mastery. So what they are are like leaders. They, they, they understand how to uh, uh, motivate people. They have a cer certain sense of people mastery. Okay, that's a set of people. And then there's a people potentially like you, uh, having known your profile, is cost and improvers, right? They want constant improvement of their life, right? Um, and and how, how, how somebody can help them, how businesses can help them, how other friends that can help them, right?
um, to do that. And then there's these social engagement people, right? And they all they want is what, where they get their energy. It's all these is about getting their energy is by meeting with people. So as we're in this COVID-19 situation, which kind of brings back to the, the people who are affected the most out of this is the social engagement folks, mm -hmm. right? Because you, you're taking away, and that, that's why you see a bunch of uh, people going to beaches and all that, because <laughs> it, it is in their nature right. that the social engagement is working against them. So, mm -hmm. so if you did a profile for those people, you know, they, they're the ones who are going to be writing on the Twitter and saying, you know what, I, I don't believe in any of this stuff, but, uh, you know, that I'm going to go to the beaches because they're brains need that constant social engagement right mm -hmm. so that gives you that that habit so right. so this this profile that's called 16 personalities and anybody can take it online and, and gets a, a little mini results gets you to create 16 different set of people set a group of people right mm -hmm. now one of the things that people kind of say well i will i'll be typecast into this individual and i'll not be successful and that is the farthest from the tooth Every one of those 16 individuals has a notion of success or failure and has a notion of being whatever they want to be. So can you have a, 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 a of these po, po, uh, fo, folks that can be CEOs, marketing people? Yes. You can have a socially engaged individual who's a marketing uh, guru also, but they use their skill, set of skills in a different way. Right. So right. Let, let me tell you this, the four different groups, okay? Okay. So, and I use the, uh, I'm not sure, are you a fan of Sade, the, the musician? Yes, yeah. So, I use the acronym Sade, right? Okay, yeah. Right? So, S is for Sentinels. These are people like an executive who are our are, are guiding post. A Sentinel is a, is a bit of a guiding post, right? Um, the other one is the, uh, now it made, made me think about what the, the so the next group, set of group of people is a, a set of analysts, A for analysts, mm -hmm. right? Um, these are very much an analysts. Uh, D for diplomats, which is what you are, right? Um, they, they play both sides. They are very much a diplomatic. They, they do that uh, things. And then the uh, last one is explorers, which are the ones we need for exploring. So mm -hmm. that kind of gives you those four main groups. And each of those groups have four sets of people that fit into that. Right. The most common one is sentinels, right, in the world. And, and this survey goes to which are defenders of people, like lawyers, for example, virtuosos, right. executives, and co consultants. So those are the most common set of four people. And the second most common are explorers, which are logisticians, defenders, again, uh, executives, and, and, and consults. Uh, they're, they're so, so are you saying, um, Mo, that there's certain kind of professions, let's say lawyers, which I'm focused on right now, um, that y you could, they generally are these kind of people. So if I started reading these profiles, <laughs> I could be like, you know, understand more about their, their thought processes. hundred percent, hundred percent. And, and you will see that they all go into that category. Uh, uh you know, if, uh, the, and, and it's, it, it is of 85% accuracy that they will become that. Okay, and you will so see people. So I'll give you an example of a lawyer. Yo, and, and I use a friend of mine as an example. Lawyer went through law school. A, parents forced him to go into law school. That's what all a lawyer would be. Well, he ended up being a CEO of a company, and he literally did not fit his profile. But he is a lawyer, right? Yeah. And that kind of get, gets him into to what he really wants to be, and what he wanted to be is a, is a bit of a, a renegade CEO, mm -hmm. and that never fit that profile of a, of a lawyer. But eventually, you're gonna end up in in the box that you you really wanted to be at oh so, right okay, so, again, okay. Right. Well, so, so when you're when you do schools um so it's not only about learning about ourselves but we could learn about uh, a potential customer we could learn obviously like you use them for your employees there's so many i hadn't thought of that before i, I always thought it was about self-development and what right. i can do better with myself but i guess that's Correct. my personality type <laughs> Right. As you deal dealing with lawyers and all that, um, what what their what their trigger points helps you, mm -hmm. and if you can uh, unmask that, those things and help them in that their, their voids, then that, that you're filling that void for them, right? And right. if you antagonize them because they want the, generally a, a lawyer is going to be one that that really is, you know, I know my stuff really, really well. So if you're going to go against them, that's going to work against you. 
right. where what they want is more information to make them feel a little bit more smarter, right? To, to say, if you can make them feel or, or give them more knowledge that makes them more competitive, right. then you sure. really, yeah. right? exactly. which is what that feeds their need very mm-hmm. much so uh, to do that. And, and um, um, how, how, um, how you can really kind of go out about doing that is, is also in their strengths and weaknesses. Right. So, for example, and, and I'll use a lawyers again as an example. So ma- majority of them have a poor understanding of mathematics. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? I heard that. Yeah. That, that, right. So that, that, that does, it is. A, it, they it is go a into tactic. law because they hate math. <laughs> because they hate math. Right. Uh, right. So, but if you show them a whole bunch of stuff and you overwhelm them with information on statistics, you're, they're subject to failure. Right. right. It's not that bite-sized information that you need. That mm-hmm. they, they would parcel so that they can use it. Does that does that mean there is no lawyers who are accountants? The answer is no. There's lots of lawyers yeah, who are accountants. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but it does mean is that you you kind of have to figure out where where that uh, thing uh, right. where, where that need it. is mm-hmm. for that set of lawyers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and again, when you're managing people, and I know you manage folks, mm-hmm. is how how well you bite size, how you give them the feedback. You know, as, as my boss used to say, feedback is a gift, right? I wasn't a very well receiver of gifts <laughs> in, in feedback because <laughs> I knew it all and I wanted it all and all that stuff. Um, but he said, Mo, feedback's a gift, right? So it is for self-improvement. It is mm-hmm. just like this thing, it's yeah. self-improvement. And, and the other part that I just wanted to make sure, like, and articulate with people listening, which is a million of them out there right now for you, yeah. Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, uh, again, I know you as a campaigner, you like that good pat on the back. So. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of my personality. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, right. Um, is, um, is, is, the, is the notion of, which I really believe in, is always working on your strengths rather than dealing deeper into your weaknesses. Right, turning your strength into your weakness, into your your weaknesses into your strengths, and your strengths uh, are are your weaknesses, right? So this is how you kind of get get that, uh, do that to to be able to just say, hey, I'm, I'd rather, be, you know, be be in in dark place by going into your weaknesses, mm-hmm. but no, that's not what, what this should be for. It's to, to kind of deal, especially when we keep getting out of this. COVID really, energy. yeah, I read I read that in the notes. Is like really. Um, like focus on your strengths and build on that and and just be like amazing at what you're amazing at, which, you know, that's what everybody should be doing. And I think that's what everybody should pick their career. If their parents love them is do what you, what you love and uh, be happy. That's my motto, right? That's it. That's it. (laughs) Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. (laughs) You're welcome. Take care, everybody. Bye.